Today we're gonna to be canning peaches a special way. So how do peaches go from looking like this to this? I don't know, it doesn't look real appetizing. And the sad part is these are really good peaches. They were actually canned last summer. They're good for like another year. And when I open them, they are delicious. They just don't look delicious. Look at this. Yuck. <laughs> Yeet. Maybe in a pie or a cobbler, but I don't know. I need them to look like this. So I have a little secret, something we're gonna do today. We're gonna add one ingredient that's gonna change the look of our peaches a year from now dried hibiscus. That's what we're gonna use. If you've never used hibiscus, this is what it looks like. Um, there's all kinds of things that it's used for, teas, and uh, there's a Mexican drink that is so delicious, and it's made with hibiscus. And so we're gonna make hibiscus peaches today. They're gonna taste really good. They're gonna be super delicious but they are gonna look even better. So we're gonna start off today by measuring out five pounds of peaches. Now, I just picked these peaches about five minutes ago. My trees are loaded as usual. So I'm gonna pick the most beautiful peaches that I can find, and then we're gonna wash them. And then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna turn them into a beautiful, hibiscus peaches. All right, that's five pounds of peaches. So that's half the peaches I picked. So the first thing that I do after I get my peaches picked is that I wash them thoroughly. I actually put them in my, my sink and I wash them. I got a lot of dishes up here. I washed a little earlier, but uh, but everything's really clean. So I'm gonna just wash these peaches really good. And in the meantime, while these are soaking, I'm gonna go ahead and get some hot water boiling and I'm gonna remove the skins off of all these peaches. And then I'm gonna show you how we make our, our syrup for our, our process of canning and the whole process we start to finish. So while we're waiting for our water to come up to a boil, we're gonna go ahead and get our syrup put together and put it on the stove. So we're gonna start off with six and a half cups of water. To that, we're gonna add a cup of granulated sugar. We're gonna add three tablespoons of dried hibiscus. Now we're gonna put these in loose. We're not gonna put them in a tea bag or anything. We're just gonna put them directly into the water. In addition to this, we're going to put the juice of two lemons. So I, I have some lemon trees out in my groves. And so I go ahead and just um, juice them and I freeze them into ice cubes. I found it's just a great way to always have really nice fresh lemon juice on hand. All right, now we're just going to put this over the stove and bring it to a boil and we're gonna let this simmer up on the stove while we get our peaches prepared in our jars. I've already washed my jars. I just need to start working on the peaches. I'm gonna go ahead and put some bottled lemon juice in my water. And I'm gonna start putting my peaches in the water and getting them ready for my ice bath. I'm only gonna do about four, four or five at a time I just want to make sure that I can process the peaches. I'm going to wait about a minute and then I'm going to take them out and then just take the, let them sit in the cold water and then put a couple more in. I have to work pretty quickly, but uh, it works out pretty good. So make sure to keep turning your peaches. You want all the different sides to make sure that they're getting the hot water. I'm going to go ahead and test one. <clears throat> now you can do your peaches in halves, you can do quarters, uh, this is perfect. 
So I just kind of put my peelings and pits in another container. And uh, any way that you like to do it. Now I'm doing these in, um, I'm gonna be canning these peaches in uh, pint sized jars. So I think for me, uh, it's better if I just put them into quarters or even into eights. These are those beautiful pixie peaches. Oh my gosh, they're just so pretty. I just love them. And these are some pretty big peaches. So, I think I'm gonna do them into sixes, six pieces. And these are peeling just beautifully, as you can see. It's like super easy, super fast. And I don't know about you, but I love peaches. I just love them. I actually have three peach trees. Now I didn't pick any of my white peaches. I have a ton of them on here on the tree, which are ripe. So I think tomorrow I may do another batch of these with the white peaches. Now, I think the white peaches would be stunning with this beautiful red color from the hibiscus. Not to mention, I love hibiscus. I love the flavor. The next step is that we're gonna put our hot hibiscus syrup right into the jars. And you're gonna leave these hibiscus leaves in here loose. It says just put them in here exactly like it is. Wow, I already can tell this is stunning. <laughs> oh my. So we're gonna fill them up to the half an inch from the top of the jar. That's called headspace. So we're going to put in a half an inch of headspace. I need to make some room for these, for this liquid. The peaches are taking up all of the room. And there's nowhere for the liquid to go. Yeah, I bet with the white peaches, I bet these are just absolutely stunning. They probably come out very pink very pretty oh and the smell is amazing if you like hibiscus tea oh you're gonna love these and i would consider this kind of a light syrup the it's only got a cup of sugar for all these jars that's that's pretty light for syrup now i really prefer when i'm canning peaches or something like this that i have a smaller neck i don't really use the wide neck jars for canning things like this, fruit and that kind of thing. It, I just find that everything kind of floats to the top. And All right, so I'm gonna top all these off with a little bit of this syrup, and then I'm gonna clean these really, really, really good. Okay, so I am definitely gonna take some vinegar for these jars because you've got a syrup that's very sticky and I'll make sure I can clean these really good. And I'm gonna go along the top of these lit, these rims of these jars, and I wanna make sure that I get every little bit of that sugary syrup off. All right, now I'm gonna get my lids and my rings and get them ready for the canner. Now this one here is a jar that I saved from something, and it's got a a rim of the jar that you're going to just twist on. You wanna make sure to twist these on really, really tight. It's not hand tight like some of the other jars. So I've put all of my jars into the canner. I'm using pint size jars and a little smaller. So uh, these will actually can in a water bath canner for 20 minutes. Now, if you use quartz, then you need to can them for 25 minutes. So as soon as they're done, I'm gonna clean up this mess and then I'll show you how it looks just as soon as I'm done. 
Well, my peaches are done and they are stunning. They look so amazing. I think tomorrow I'm gonna to be canning some of my white peaches. I think the white with the red is just gonna be really beautiful, especially after a month or two after the color gets infused into the peach. Oh my goodness, can you imagine what kind of a cake or a pie? I'm thinking of all kinds of videos down the line. And not to mention the hibiscus syrup smelled so good. So I am just so excited that I found this recipe. And um, one of the things that it said in the recipe is that if you have any leftover syrup, keep boiling it down and then strain out the leaves and then you can make it into a syrup for pancakes or something like that. That sounded very interesting as well. So thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, thank you for watching my video, for supporting my channel. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like, a thumbs up, or ring the bell for future notifications, and I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye-bye.